Welcome to this brief tutorial on Infinite Canvas. So I'm creating this video because several of you have emailed me and talked to at least one person on the phone and you just were inquiring about Infinite Campus because you, you talked about how it changed and how it's different looking from last year. So what I thought I would do is learn a little bit more about it. I've got a high schooler too, so I know what you're talking about. It does really look different from last year. So this is just a brief tutorial on how to use the new Infinite Campus or the new look Infinite Campus. Now, if you don't have the Infinite Campus, um, if you don't have access to it yet, just visit a school. If you want to come into the middle school, they just need to verify your household information and they'll give you an activation key. Once you have that activation key, you should be able to get into Infinite Campus. And it's great for, you know, like it says right here, looking at grades, attendance, food service account, other important information. You can check on tardies to see if your child's been getting to class on time. You can check on absences. So it really, there is a lot of information that you can find there. So once you have access to it, where do you actually find the link to the portal? As a parent, what I do is I just type in Baraboo School District. And once I do that, I go to the main page of the school district. I click on parent and I go down to the parent portal. And the parent portal, when I click on that, will look like this. So this is the same spot that your students will check in. So even if you don't have access to the parent portal and you don't really want to get access to the parent portal, all students have access to the campus student portal. So they can get on there. In fact, as an eighth grade teacher, I expect my students to be able to get onto this site and to check their grades, if not weekly, at least every other week to make sure they're turning stuff in. So you would click on the campus parent link. And when I clicked on it, it takes me right here. Again, I've got a high schooler. So I'm right there with you. I had to learn how to use this as well. So this is some background information, but you want to click on this right here up in the lower left hand corner. When I click on that, I get this drop down menu right here. And there's some interesting stuff going on here. If I clicked on today, it would show me a picture of my child. It would have today's schedule. So it would go through their A day schedule, their B day schedule. So you could see exactly what classes they have. It's got other pertinent information. This is where I would find how much money they have in their food food service account. I can also find it down here, but this is just a quick page. If you go here, it's got a lot of information for you. If you click on assignments, assignments is neat. If you click on that, you'll get something that looks like this, and this is just a small snapshot of it, but below it, you would have all of today's assignments, or it would have the current term, so it would go down chronologically. What I like is if you click on missing, you can see if your child is missing any work. So this is a good spot. My favorite spot to check on how my child is doing is when I click on grades. When I click on grades, I will get a, not necessarily a drop down menu, but I'll get a screen that has all of his classes. And I can click on those classes to see how he's doing on his assessments, his quizzes, his assignments, things like that. So if I were to click on that, and if I were to click on science, I did have a student do this, and they sent me a couple screenshots. This is what part of it would look like. So this is one of our learning targets. This is our essential learning targets. You're going to see this on the report card come the end of the quarter. And these are the things, these are the assignments that we're using. And these are basically practice assignments. And we're gearing up for the test, and the test is coming up soon. So this would tell you that it's turned in. We also have this added. So if you looked at Infinite Campus last week, it was a little bit confusing because there was no proficient, there was no developing, no, no grades there whatsoever. And so for some students, I had marked proficient, but I didn't mark turned in, but these weren't showing up. So some parents were confused, and I think that's why they emailed me and asked me what was going on. So then I marked everything as turned in, but we have been able to figure out what was going on. We now have these marked so you can see how your child is doing. So it's not only are they turning the work in, but are they doing a really good job on it? Or are they turning it in and it's not really done well? And hopefully they'll redo it. Typically in my class, if a child isn't doing well, I'll hand the assignment back. And I'll say you need to redo it so it's done at a proficient level. If I were to click on this right here, it would take me to this screen. It's just got some more background information. Now this assignment right here is not used to calculate the grades. At the middle school, we just use the test to calculate the grades. So we have a lot of practice. We do these assignments. Doesn't mean they're optional. They students still have to do it. It's no different than as a coach. As a coach, I might have four or five practices before a game. Those practices aren't optional. 
That's where we build our skills. That's where we get better. It's the same thing in the classroom. These are the things that we're doing to build our skills. So when we get ready for the assessment, we nail the assessment. Now, once I have an assessment, you should also see a grade right here, an in-progress grade. And that kind of gives you a rough idea of how your child is doing overall. So I would ask you as parents to get in here, click on the grades, click on science, and go through and see if your child is missing any work. Uh, here are the due dates. Sometimes children come home and they'll say, well, Mr. Ratoon didn't give us any time to work on things. Well, here you can see they actually had four days to do it. Plus, they could turn work in late because I'll accept work late up until the end of the unit. And usually there's a point in time where I'll say, OK, I'm not accepting any more work from this unit. I'm only going to accept work from the next unit. Otherwise, students get just get further and further behind. So I hope this tutorial has helped you. If you have any questions, you can email me. You can call. You can ask any questions you want. We've got conferences coming up. I love for all my parents to be able to use this portal to just keep tabs on your child to make sure everything's going all right. So thank you.